Okay, the problem we're going to look at today is addressing uh, the bench press and using in proper form. Um, if you're trying to build your chest, then you want to make sure that you're hitting your chest and your pectorials, not your shoulders. A lot of people do that when they perform the bench press, and a lot of people are trying to increase uh, the weight they lift in bench press. And in order to do that, if you utilize the correct movement, it's going to help with that. So I'm um, trying to go through this and show you the correct way to perform a bench press movement is going to help you uh, take stress off your shoulders, make it to where you can train longer, and help increase uh, some of the weight and increase the muscle mass for your chest, which is what the movement is for. Um, I'm doing this in a standing version because one, it allows me to talk to you a little easier, but two, you can actually see why I um, like this movement pattern and uh, why the angle is better supported for the pushing movement. And that is, if you're getting ready to push someone, so uh, if you're in football and you're a lineman, or uh, just if, if a natural push position, you're usually tucking your elbows in and getting leverage here to push away. And in doing that, you usually put, naturally, your elbows at about a 30 or 45 degree angle. You don't go to a 90 degree angle. If you're pushing from here, you're not going to get a lot of leverage. And people don't do that if they go up to shove someone. They step into it, they tuck their elbows in, and they push. And that's how you should look at your bench press. So you want to get your, your hands set up in a way that when you come down, you're going to be leveraged to push it up like you're pushing someone away. Sometimes people get too wide of a hand grip. You want to be at a good position where you can push and get that leverage. Now, when you're actually doing a bench, you're going to let that float over your head wherever you want to. Me personally, I usually uh, line up under the bar and I'll go with my eyes under the bar and I'll go back to there. But that's the movement, that arcing pattern that you want to get with your bench press. And some people, you're going to have to learn where you need to go on your chest in order for it to be low enough to get that angle. It's going to be different depending on your body type and different uh, body styles. So the longer your, your arms are, the different um, area of your chest you're going to have to hit. But normally it's uh, around the bottom of your pecs that you're going to hit. And as long as you're keeping that angle, it's going to help hit your pectorials, not your delts or your shoulders, and it's going to uh, help reduce injury um, and take some of the stress off of your shoulders. So uh, one quick thing, and that, like I said, it's just getting a better setup and having um, a better position with your elbows in order to improve your bench press. So. Hopefully that will help. Um, if you can put that into place, it will, like I said, take some strain off your shoulders, allow you to hit your chest more.